My name is Charlie Felina and I represent Junior International for Women's Artistic Gymnastics. Well, when I was little, I never really believed in myself. Like, I wasn't really that good. And then I became stronger and I ended up winning Australian Championships and I'm at Junior and I think, yeah, I, I think I've got a potential to go all the way. At the beginning, it was quite difficult for Talia, I think, with her build and her power. And there was probably some disappointing times when you put in all this hard work and, and you don't get the rewards from the judges. Now it's kind of swung the other way for her where the years of the strength training and everything are really paying off. The training schedule is definitely hectic, but it just shows the dedication that she has. Nothing will stand by her, even an injury. Even mum saying to her, look, just take a day off training. It's, no, I need to be there. I hurt myself on bars doing a shot. It didn't really click to me at the start that it's something really bad, but I made sure every single day in the gym I was working hard on my strength. I did as much as I could so I could keep up. And when I came back, I just tried so hard to get up to where I was at. It is really expensive sport. So the kids are training 30 plus hours a week. It, it would be in the vicinity of fifteen to twenty thousand dollars a year. So it's a huge commitment on the parents financially, and for a lot of them, it'd be the choice between do I send my daughter to private school or do they have a crack at gymnastics and hopefully make it in that? A Colonial First State Sports Boost would help me by leotards, grips, anything that will help me get to where I need to be and yeah, reach my goals. As a young woman, I'm, all, I'm proud of my child. Um, not as a gymnast, but as a daughter. Now the next big thing I'm preparing for is maybe trying to get my skills up so I can match everyone around the world and I can get the high start scores that Australia needs.